Uh, we're going to leave that the way it is, and I want to zoom this out some more because it's too dark. So we'll do maybe that. Uh, it's too much. So we'll do 5.5 for the height, and maybe 1.3 for the width. That's going to be too much, isn't it? Uh, maybe. Maybe. Uh, maybe the height is too much. I'm going to do 0.4 for the height. And I... Nope, that's too much. 0.45. Maybe 0.47. That's fine. I think the width is still not enough. Uh, we will go ahead and put that on 0.35 instead. Maybe even more. Maybe 0.5, and then this will just be 5. Forget it. We'll just throw it to the wind. All right, I don't want that much Lomo on there. That looks good. Now we just have the corners look good, and if it's not hooked up, then you can tell it looks like that. Complete difference uh, between the two of them. So we definitely need that uh, that little bit of Lomo that we have on there, which is very, very nice. Very, very nice. Uh, all right. So uh, what else are we doing? Um, I wanted to – we could add flares, but I don't think it's necessary. Um, we could – ooh, let's do that. Let us let me just see something real quick. Let me just grab a – what is it? Is it glow? Uh, not glow. Uh, I can't remember what it's called, but that's fine because we can just go to oh, – it's a glare. That's right. It's a glare. Like I said, it's been a long time since I've done it this way. It's super weird, but it still works exactly the same, which is why Blender is such a great thing because uh, sometimes they change a lot of stuff, but it will usually be the same uh, in some type of way or another. We're going to have to turn the threshold of this down. It's going to be too high. Uh, we're getting some major laggage right now, but that's fine uh, because it's going to look – fine when we're done we'll turn the fade to i think the shorter it is the lower it is the shorter it is right i think so i think i'm going the wrong way yeah i'm going the wrong way so we'll go 1.5 make them super long i think it looks good and uh, maybe uh that's way too long nope and it doesn't even go up to 1.5 it just goes to one uh so i think it used to go higher than that i think they might have changed that so we'll go to just 0.7 why not um uh, yeah, sure, that's fine. Just a little bit of uh, the, 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 the streaks on there. And we will turn the uh, quality from medium to high. That'll make them a bit smaller, so we'll have to fix that. Uh, wait for it. There we go. Yeah, the fade needs to go up some more now. Maybe, might as well just put it on one. Forget it. Um, <laughs> but because, yeah, the, the, the higher the quality, the shorter the streaks get because it's condensing them and making them smoother. So they look a bit shorter. That's way too much. I just don't think that looks good at all. Uh, so we'll put that on 0.9. Come on. Be point nine. Be point nine. Do it. Do it. Do it good. Do it good, Blender. Oh, maybe. Maybe that's still too much. Uh, point, uh, point 0.8. Because I'm getting, like, some weird ghosting on the text. And I don't, I don't really want it to show up on the text. I really want it to show up mainly just on the stars. And I think that looks good I think so maybe we'll turn this on medium anyway um, because I don't want it to be that subtle I want it to be more, you be able to see it more so I think that's good we'll turn it back on 0.752 and the threshold we will turn to we'll leave it on two we'll leave it on two uh, looks good looks good now I want to duplicate this and give us some more lag because you know how much I love that uh, hit uh, shift to duplicate the glare and change this from streaks to fog glow and then we'll change the size to I think it only goes to 10 it only goes to 9 that's right okay uh, so we'll put that on 9 and wait for it to composite this is kind of like a bloom but it does has a little bit of a different effect uh, yeah there we go so I think that's too much the threshold is too much so we'll go 0. 0.5 maybe something like that and I think that'll look fine the way that it is, or it should, rather. Uh, that's too much. That's too much. Uh, 0.4. That's too much, Shane, man. Uh, I think that will probably look good the way that it is. Come on. Compositing is always a, yeah, that, uh, that's fine. That looks good. A little bit of a glow on there, but not too much. And it definitely does have a different effect than the bloom does. So uh, it looks a little bit different. And it has a nice little thing to it. So uh, what else can we do? Let's go ahead and... Uh, I think that's it. We'll add a little bit of lens distortion. We could do a little bit of that. Uh, a little bit of distur dispersion, sorry. Uh, 0.1 is going to be too much. We're going to have to turn that down, uh, most likely. 
So dispersion is kind of like uh, when you separate the red, green, and blue channels of an image, and it looks like that, and it looks super good, but we're going to animate it. Um, so let me actually open the timeline up right here. Uh, we'll just split that, and then we'll go ahead and go to the timeline. Now this is going to be a pain in the butt to do because we have so much lag. So what we're going to do is I'm actually going to unhook everything except for the lens distortion for the time being and then it'll be a little bit easier to deal with all of the stuff that is going on at the current moment we're going to go ahead and uh now we know what point one looks like so i think we're, we're going to be fine with doing the point one so let's go ahead and actually get rid of the viewer node because I, I don't want to see it because that's what's causing all the lag by the way um so actually we can actually just plug this back up if we're going to do that you know plug all those back in sweet now we have no lag because we're not looking at it um that's how it works <laughs> so uh we're gonna listen to the audio and we're gonna watch it a little bit we're gonna split this into two and go back to 3d viewport we're gonna watch it and we're gonna see whenever i want there to be distortion uh we're gonna add some so let's go ahead and play it uh with the audio on uh that's not good uh we're, well we have to play it with no materials at all and still, because the particles, I forgot about the particles. Let's turn those off. And we can turn it with the material. All right. Or maybe we'll just leave it off with the material. All right, there we go. I think... Of course, when we zoom out, I want some. So we'll go ahead and right here on the dispersion, we will turn it to zero. And then hit I. And then go uh, right there. We will put this on point one, and I want to over. You do not want to overdo the dis dispersion because it is a pain and it looks bad in too big of a form. So when it comes back in, I want it to be back on zero when it gets here, um, and then we'll hit I. So now it does, you, you won't be able to see it, but you can just imagine. It. Um, all right, and this is kind of a trial and error thing because we can actually hook this up right now. We can hook it up, but it won't actually, the image won't change, only the dispersion value will. So if I were to go ahead and take a look at this, if we, come on, if we, if we, okay, fine, 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 be that way about it. We go ahead and render, no, there we go. It'll render it out, but it's take forever, obviously. Give me my cursor, give me my cursor, give me my cursor, thank you. All right, so now if we take a look at the dispersion, uh, right here, you can see it's 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 rendering what it's going to look like. The the screenshot is not going to change because we rendered that. But it, just keep in mind, it's going to look like this over here. It's going to be zoomed out and stuff. But we we can be able to see how much distors, dispersion we have uh, to be able to to gauge it. So right now we're going to have this much dispersion, and then we're going to get up to the max amount of distortion which dispersion, which is this right here. And then it'll look like once it's done compositing, this is when we can unhook everything except for the lens distortion uh, so it, it renders faster because this is taking forever uh, it'll look like that when it's done and then it'll be going back down and it'll look like that so you can see how we're gonna get some really cool effects with a really simple thing uh, with the dispersion give me my cursor oh my goodness gracious oh my goodness gracious oh man oh gosh it will hook up unhook that that uh, viewer note again all right, so now with the lens distortion selected, we'll go ahead and uh, look for some more places we can do this. When it rotates, I think I think when it rotates is a good place to do it. So right here, a little bit of dispersion. Hit 1, hit I on my keyboard, sorry. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Uh, we'll go ahead and put 0.1 on that as well. And by that time, it should be on point 0.1. But now in the middle of this, uh, right about here, actually I want to move this over, so uh, here it'll be 0, and then right here it'll be 1. I think point 0.1 is too much for this little tiny movement, so we're going to point 0 0.05 on that, and then hit I, and then right here it should be completely gone on 0. Looks good, looks good, I like it, I love it, I want some more of it, we're going to go ahead and look for some more places. And when it zooms in real quick, I just want a super quick one right here so uh